In this video, we will be plotting a PXY diagram in Excel. This is the data that we will use to ultimately create this PXY diagram. And if you notice here, so if X1 and Y1 are both zero, the value of P is the same. However, if X1 is 0.1, somewhere here, our P value would be 36 and X1 corresponds to blue. So when X1 is 0.1, we get 36 which is good, and if Y1 is 0.37, so somewhere here, we would also get 36 at this value. And so this is kind of what a PXY diagram will look like. But if we only have this uh, data set, we want to create this. So let's do that. So now we have just our data set, and we want to create that diagram we saw uh, before. So what we're going to do here is click Insert. We hit Scatter. We select the second one right here, scatter with smooth line and markers. Now we have this chart right here. We want to right click. Then you go down to select data. From here, we will select add. So first we will do X1, which corresponds to our X axis. So we'll call it X1 and the series values. We select this icon right here and we go from here all the way down we drag it. We hit enter. Next we do the corresponding Y values. So for X1 and Y1, they both correspond to X axis and the P term is pressure and it corresponds to the Y axis. So I will select our Y values from P. So we select this icon right here. We drag and drop and we hit enter and we hit okay. Next we will do the same thing for Y1. So we can call it Y1. We select our X values. So it's gonna be from here all the way down. We hit enter. Then we select series Y values. We go from here all the way down, hit enter, and we hit okay. Now it's starting to look like what we saw earlier. So let's compare. So this is the graph we saw earlier. And this is the graph we have right now. Um, for example, it's going from zero to 1.2. I wanted to go from zero to one, so I can double click, and our minimum is at zero, and our maximum is set as 1.2. We can easily change that to 1.0. So now it looks like this. Likewise, we do the same for the Y axis. Um, we can change it to, let's say, 140 as our max. Hit OK. Uh, what, else, what else are we missing? So we wanna label our X and Y axis and give it a title. And so now we want to put a x-axis and y-axis uh, title. So we can select the graph. So we go to layout. So under x-axis axis title, select uh, primary title below axis. And we can call it, what did we call it earlier? We called it x1 and y1 because we have x1 and y1. So we call it x1 comma y1. Next, we want to do a Y axis, which is P. So in our case, it was PKPA. That was the units for pressure. So we select it, hit layout, go to axis titles. Uh, we hit vertical and we have an option. Let's just do horizontal. We can call it uh, P in KPA. So our pressure in kilopascals. Finally, we'll do a title. So again, select the graph, hit layout, go to chart title. Above chart, we can call it P-XY, a PXY diagram. And that's all you need to do to create a PXY diagram in Excel.